taken to the forest. They are circumcised, they stay there for a month, and food is just taken there by men. It's not allowed for my mother to come here. So guys, it's Bonnie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you are new, consider subscribing. I say kindly subscribe. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. So it's early morning. It's not that early, but it's still very morning. It is 7.40. It's 7, around almost 8 in the morning, 8 a.m. 8 and as you can see outside, the sun has just risen. And it is bright. You can hear the bus and everything. Things are starting, are starting out in the village. Let me show you a little bit. Just see the environment. The sun is up and everything. Look, look. Look at the sun. It's eight. You can hear the vehicles going. You can hear the birds, a lot of birds and everything. So this is the village. And uh, <coughs> here at our cottage, I don't know, do we say cottage? The small house. I think cottage, something like that. We, yeah, yeah, cottage. It's called Singira in this way. So this is our Singira. This is our bed. We sit on our bed. Actually, it is a, it's normal for all in the village. There is that small house where boys stay. And uh, I could not film in the early morning because there is no electricity in this house, so it was a bit dark. Uh, that, those, those are the things I will do slowly. I'll install power, something like that, with more time. In time, as time goes by. Uh, so for now, this is my brother. That much, that picture. It's not very visible for you to stay in one. I just want him to be to be <coughs> to be visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? And how many? It's all good. Oh, you got the. Let me give hi. Let me give you a hi. Yes, he's my brother. Uh, he's finished from four and uh, we are planning other things to join college something like that and uh, <clears throat> we are taking tea it's tea time this is the flask you can see can you see this because it is up it is open it's open up here so can you see the this uh, flowing in Air yeah, from I don't know what to put any vapor water vapor going up. Yeah, so it is very hot. This what this tea is very hot, and uh, we have just been brought with bread. And that is our table. You see, so this actually this is a, small, a, a very small room actually. And this house I built it when I was in form two. Okay, form two. So we are taking tea. And uh, bread, we don't we don't care much about butter or or uh, butter something like that. We just eat very the way it is. Yes, so uh, that is it, guys. And um, I'm home. This is my first day. I came yesterday in the evening. So th this I can say it's the first day because I'm starting early morning. And I'll be able to make a lot of videos today. Telling you stories about this place I've grown up. I already made a video about early morning. I just I, I, show, I showed you uh, the environment, everything. So it happens very early morning. Before Actually, people are waking up. I was the first one to wake up here. People are waking up there. My father was not up. So I showed you things, the way the sun was rising. We know the sun goes overhead in this part of the world. And uh, you've learned something small. So we'll continue learning, learning, learning. My story, you know. You know, my mentor told me I should do things about, you know, you, you around your story. You make your story, you become creative. And that's what I'm, yeah, I'm gravitating towards. So that is it, guys. Uh, <clears throat> With my brother here, he's a little bit introvert. Are you introvert? He doesn't talk much. Extrovert. Ah, my extrovert. Man, he doesn't like talking much. I know him. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. This is my bar bank. I charge with my my phone because you know here, no power. Some papers here, th things, and my, my my small thing here. There is a national ID, bank card, something like that. The keys. Like I just want you to see the environment where the boys live. You can see our blankets, and uh, it, uh, it is well made actually. Yeah, yeah. Our torch. We use it at night wherever we want to go outside and relieve ourselves a little bit, something like that. And my bag. This is my bag, like that of Marwa. <laughs> Don't ask us, you, you, you might be why I'm referring to Marwa much, but because, it's because he's up there, we are looking up to him, we are learning from him. It's like Wodemeyer. Uh, so here in the village, here is some small amount of maize. Yeah, just some small amount of maize. I think my brother was, I think, I think my brother put it or what, something like that. You can see maize. I don't know, you may, you know, you may not have seen maize because you live in different regions and we grow maize, we grow maize a lot in this part of the world. <coughs> Sorry. So we have maize. Look at maize. So they go grind it in the potion mill and then they bring it home. We make ugali. So I'll show you how ugali is made, especially my grandma. Um, to all of you, my grandma, Estella, you'll see it. Everything starts here. Is this is still raw, this maize. It's white maize. We don't grow yellow maize here. White maize. And this is not GMO. Estella was, t was telling me, Estella, Grandma Estella, USA, you were telling me that time. Sorry if I'm, um, I am letting out our <laughs> conversation, but uh, GMO, you are talking about GMO things. This is not GMO. This is pure uh, corn, white corn. And uh, we use it to make with ugali. Ugali is mix, mixture of flour and water, you know. They cook it into a, something um, sticky like ugali. We eat with uh, vegetables. So you call it ugali. I don't know what you call it in your in your path where you live. What do you call it, Lunda TV? What do you call it in your area in Sweden? Or do you do you really cook ugali in Sweden? So this is it. So guys, can you subscribe also to Lunda TV? You will be able to learn about the polar region, which is Scandinavia. There is a lot of snow there. Things I used to study it in geography, but I've now seen it in his videos. We'll go there someday. So kindly subscribe to this channel. It's called Lunda TV. I think it's a Congolese or what? Tell us more, Mr. Lunda TV. <laughs> Tell us more. So that is it. You've seen corn, this white corn. We take it to the potion mill. We grind it into some, into into flour. The what do we call? Maize flour. And then they bring it. And you can even take it this way. In a bag like this, or you can use a, a container. Uh, you wouldn't contain an amissanya. Now you know you get again. A packet. You can just put it in a packet, take it to Moshe. There is a Moshe in the village. They are there in the villages. It's like a center, shopping center. So you go, it's a Moshe is in a small room like a small room like this. They grind it. You pay some small amount of money. You print the, the flour, very fresh. No, med, no, no chemicals, no nothing. You come and make a gali. And it's type of food. Whenever I miss Ugali for two days, I get headache <laughs> because it's something I'm used to. Like I'm, not, I don't feel comfortable. I cannot eat bread continuously for three days without eating Ugali. So you know, habits and uh, what we've learned from since when we were young. You know, that thing you cannot miss. And this is my. <laughs> this thing has a very long story. My box, my metal box, very long story. You can see it has books. This is where I used to put my books when I was in high school. Whenever I came home, not I didn't use this one in high school. It was just here. So when I was in, in twenty in the year 20, 2011, I did my grade eight exams in the year 20, 2011. And uh, I, I passed. Let me say I passed because I was position one. And uh, in a local primary school, they are called Kimurugoi Public School. So I was given this this, this one by a relative. To, to take it to high school because you know it was a boarding high school 
I was sponsored in high school. So there is a relative who gave he donated this one to me. But at the time it was too too big. I don't know why it seems small now. You can see. But it was too big at the time. So I didn't use it. Actually he knows it. And he didn't take it for part. Like he understood it was too big at the time. So I didn't take it to school. I was bought another one. Yeah, so it remained here up to date. But the hinges were still good. You can see this time. The hinges are not good. This one is it's broken. Somehow the hinges you can see it's broken. This one is it's separated from up here. But I used to put here all my books here. But my brother has now put their books. Like this is a mathematics book. Yeah. It, it reminds me of, of those old days when I, I used to I used to study hard. <laughs> I was a serious reading. Actually, I didn't do a lot of co-curricular. I, I studied so much when I was in high school. Yeah, so it, it reminds me far. Bible. And there is some Bible here, a small Bible called Gideon's. Is, is Gideon's an American... It's like an American non-governmental organization that donates Bibles to people. And uh, by mentioning Christianity and Bible, don't be offended if you are in another religion because, uh, you know, we have different, and I respect that. So don't be offended. I know you may be a Hindu or, or a atheist, a Hindu, Muslim. We are all in one room. Diversity makes us a good uh, makes us a good community. So let's build our community. Can you subscribe, guys? If you are not, just subscribe. Do you know this? So I'm showing you things in this bag, in this uh, metal box. Actually, this is a tour to a, a, a boys, uh, a tour to the boys small room. It is very rare to get uh, some uh, something like of the sort because they are all some security. Yeah. It's, I can say, because even we, our mothers are not allowed to get inside here. Only our daughters, whenever they come to clean, because in the village, the roles, gender roles are really, really deeply rooted. For example, about gender roles. Girls do cleaning, like, uh, you know, there's mere um, mud here. This is a mud house. This is not a concrete house. Actually, this is made of mud. This is a mad house. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can fix, so you can see the natural environment. And uh, you see this mabati. It used to be grass tight. So I changed it. I removed the grasses. I bought the mabati later, and then I, I it's made of mabati now. Like it, it was a progress. So I was talking about gender roles. Cleaning is. Majorly, majority, but majorly women's roles. Going to the portion mill to to grind this maize into wheat, into flour is a, for women and girls. If I can do this, I'll be I'll be I'll, I'll be an outcast. Like the, I'll be the laughing stock. They will laugh at me, and that they will I will look so weird. It's it's actually not good, not right. Think of that thing that when a man does in your community, you can easily be excluded. Like, it's, it's that serious. It's not a joke. Gender roles are deeply rooted. There's, there are some things men cannot do. Like carrying a baby at the back, a man cannot do this in the village. In this village. So, you know, that, that's now, it shows you how, how village like it is like, a, it is still a traditional, a very... Not, not that traditional, but very, it's still very concrete. Yeah, we are not much westernized here in the village. But whenever I'm in town, things are a bit different because I'm... <laughs> yes, yes. So, that is it. <clears throat> so this house is not only... It's not allowed for my mother to come here. Yeah. So these are books. I'm showing you some books here. Blossoms of the Savannah. This is a book that... Uh, it's, it's a book that is done by literature in high school currently. KSI is yeah. KSI? Yeah, yeah. Prosoms of the Savannah. Yeah, like my brother. Can you know? Oh, it belonged to my sister. You know my sister just completed form 4, which is grade 12 or grade 4. I don't know. What do you call grade 12? 
in your in your area. Yeah. So it is a you you study this. They bring you questions. You do this. It's literature. Hey, it reminds me of the far. This um this uh results look for my sister. Like um this one is used to hold things as you do the exam to do all the papers. You can Cardboard. Cardboard. It's a cardboard. Yeah, you just clip your paper here, up here. Yeah. And then you do your your exams or something like that. Mostly used in exams. This is the pack of a calculator. This one. I don't know what the, what the calculator is. So these are the books. And they are not very, very well arranged. There are few actually. So you will arrange it. This one is We Lost Memories. This is a book. It's a very good book. Eh? And other stories. Short stories. It's also done in literature in high school. Come on. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to show you this here. SKCY High School. This is a, a question paper for my brother. It's for what? Which subject? For English paper two. Paper two is uh, comprehension, comprehension, literary, appreciation, and grammar. Aye. It reminds me so far. Yeah, like the, the more I sit behind besides this box, the more my memories, like nostalgia I remember far in the back there when in those old days, when I was still a young boy, this is a paper. So, <laughs> I want to show you this. So this brother of mine, uh, the one with the green uh, flower, this, this is my brother. He's in high school now. He's in a boarding school. He's in grade 12, which is form 4. Yeah. So here, he was coming out of a ceremony. You know, here we circumcise boys between age... 13 or 14 to 16, my man. So, he was coming out of that ceremony. They are circumcised. They are taken. I'll show you. In, it, it, it always happens in November or December. So, what happens is... Hey, look at... Can you hear those sounds? I miss those bad sounds. So, it so, happens in November or December. They are taken to... Uh, they are taken to the forest. They are circumcised. They stay there for a month. And... Food is just taken there by men who have been circumcised or children. They go to some distance and then they call. And then, hey, very, very deep, interesting stories here. I like it's a very long story. So whenever a young, let's say a girl or an, an uncircumcised boy takes food to them, he stays in a distance. There is a designated distance from where this uh, circumcised boy stay. And then they call. And then they come, they take the food. And you, you know, they are covered in animal skin. So I'll show you more and more. He worked with Bonnie, you learn a lot about culture here. So he was coming out of that ceremony. So you can see it was like a ceremony. You can see the flowers. So that's my brother. You, I think we are, people say we look alike. You can see the faces. The one with the green flower and me. We look alike, actually. We, we always look alike. That's my brother. He's, he's fourth born. So he's in grade 12. It's called Kiblaga Telfis. It's in grade 12. Yeah, so more and more things to come, guys. And uh, I, we had talked about these Gideons. I think it's an American non-governmental organization that gives out, like, it's a Christian based. Donates Bibles, do something of the sort, helping the needy. So I was donated by Gideons when I was in grade 6. 209-2009. 14 years ago. So that is it guys, and these are Combas, it's one of the used for mathematics. So I'm giving you a tour to my, exclusive tour to my house, and this is the door, I've not shown you the door, sorry, yes, I've not shown you the door, I've showed you the box, we are, as we are taking tea, I'm just taking tea slowly, as I take you around, there is no hurry, because today I'm, the, the whole of today I'll be at home here shooting videos, outside is cold here, and this thing is, this tea is hot, so. It balances the temperature. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I just want you to take part to take you back on something. Do you remember the green flower around my fa my brother's neck? I think it is this one. This. Yeah, this one. Mm, as my brother was coming out of that initiation um, circumcision, you see that green flower. 
I think it is this one. It looks the same. <laughs> 